Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I am back again for another video blog, and this time I'm going to continue my discussion of Android Lollipop 5.0, which is the new Google Android operating system for your Android smartphone. In particular, I'm talking about the uh, Nexus 5, which I'm very lucky to have. So today's episode of talking about Android, I'm going to be talking about the Google Calendar application that comes with the Android Lollipop 5.0 version. So if you've been using your Android phone, the stock calendar app for your Android, you probably have gotten used to some of the features of that the previous app, which had you can you can kind of pinch to uh, zoom out on your calendar and you could see the entire five days or seven days ahead of time. Uh, actually, it was a seven day view before you could see the seven days view in the week view. However, when iOS, uh, sorry, not iOS, uh, Android OS 5.0 came along this week. For me, I got it installed. Uh, it came up with a new calendar application which replaced the old calendar app. And the new calendar app is all over the place. They have just taken a much, a total new redesign of the application. It is basically not functional for what I want. The main reason is that you can no longer display a seven day week view. The, the maximum you can see at one time is five days or the entire month. So for me, that doesn't work at all because I need to be able to see my entire week at a time. So after a few days of playing with the Android uh, 5.0 calendar application, I decided to go looking for third party applications which would suit my workflows better. And I came across one called simply Business Calendar. And this is one of the top rated Android uh, third party calendar applications you can get for your, your Android phone. It cost me, I, got, I actually tried out the free version for a while, which had a few ads on the uh, event detail pages. And I realized this is actually a really good application. I liked it very much. So I decided to upgrade to the pro version and that cost me $4.89 Canadian dollars uh, to upgrade to that version. And definitely it was well worth it because I find this calendar is beautiful. It has extremely good usability. You can see the entire seven days on one screen and you can zoom in by pinching with your finger and it has a really nice customizability for displaying multiple different calendars and switching between different calendars and it is uh, a really nice use of the screen there's no unnecessary colors or chrome or anything it's just basically uh, a solid business oriented calendar application for people who have a large number of, of tasks on their calendar they need to manage a lot of different things happening and they don't want to miss an appointment. So this is a great application, it's called Business Calendar and I highly recommend it. If you're looking for alternatives to the, the stock Android calendar application that came with Nexus, uh, sorry, the uh, Lollipop 5.0 Android release, check out Business Calendar. You may want to give it a try, the free version. I'll put a, a link to the free version below and you can also upgrade to the pro version from within the application itself. It, it hooks up to the Play Store. So again, thanks for watching. Hope this tip maybe gives you some ideas for what to do with the uh, Android calendar application on your phone. And uh, I definitely look forward to having a very organized calendar with the business calendar application. And thanks again to the developers of that. And also thanks very much to Google for making their platform open so that third party developers can come along and write different applications that may suit individual users better than the stock applications. So that's something really, really awesome that uh, Android is fairly open. So you can get lots of different customizable applications if the one that you, you got with your phone isn't suiting your needs. Also, one quick note about that from yesterday's post. In yesterday's video, I said that I've actually disabled the lock screen notifications feature. But I realized when I disabled the lock screen notifications feature, it no longer even shows if I have any new mail in the top left corner. They've removed those little icons. So actually I have to turn that back on in order to check if I have mail. So I actually was forced to turn back on the lock screen notification feature, but I just disabled certain notifications from appearing so that I'm not bothered by my server monitor program, which tells me if my web server is down. I don't want to always be seeing that on the notification screen. So I actually hid the notification for that. I hid the notification for that application. And then the only ones that show up on the home screen are the, uh, the mail, text messaging, and uh, calendars that show up on the, on the home screen or the lock screen. So that's just the, if you've been watching my videos and saw my comment yesterday, this is just an update towards that comment from yesterday's video, which I will also link below this video. 
Okay, thanks again for watching and uh, thanks for having a, a view of my channel. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it if you like my videos. There's much more content on its way and music and food and all sorts of stuff. So uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button below if you're interested in uh, keeping up to date with the stuff that I'm interested in and some hopefully useful content for you as well. As well, I'm going to be bringing additional uh, videos and tutorials about the Roland Gaia SH01 synthesizer and maybe even a bit more singing videos and music performances. So if you like my diverse interests, I'd love to uh, chat with you in the comments below. And thanks again for your support. Bye-bye for now and have a great day.